And although snow isn't in the forecast for Christmas, preparations for winter weather are underway. VDOT uses salt and brine to keep drivers safe, but environmental expert groups say our waterways are sensitive to what washes off the pavement. Jordy Clark explains. The Virginia Department of Transportation says salt and brine remain the most effective tools for keeping roads safe during winter weather, especially across Virginia's massive highway system. But once the snow melts, much of what's left on the pavement doesn't just disappear. But salts are particularly um, resilient to being absorbed when you have um, you know, a, a high dose of salt coming into the system that they're not used to, it can really cause problems for a lot of different organisms. In Hampton Roads, that runoff flows into rivers, wetlands, and tidal waters, systems already sensitive to changes in salinity. Well, the increased salinity into our watershed here in the Hampton Roads can affect, really affect the aquatic life that lives in those wetlands, but especially with, you know, like our oysters, um, and other animals that like to live in the marsh. VDOT says it follows best practices to balance environmental protection with road safety, including calibrated spreaders, staff training, and coordination with the Department of Environmental Quality to limit salt entering surface waters. But it doesn't just stop at statewide efforts. Environmental experts say residents need to be mindful too. The rule of thumb that's often advised is about a coffee mug's worth of salt per driveway. Just being judicious when you're putting it down and realizing that uh, the fate of that salt is probably going to be our waterways and cause damage eventually. For environmental groups, the message isn't about eliminating salt, but about using only what's needed to protect both drivers and the waterways that make Hampton Roads unique. Water quality is good for all and we can all make an impact to improve it. Whether that's fresh water or down in the tidal waters of the Chesapeake Bay, and we're going to have to take care of those resources. Uh, and managing salt is one of the things that we have to do in order to do that. For 13 News Now, I'm Jordy Clark.